don't know who Hercule Perrault is, and you've never heard of Murder on the Orient Express and know the mystery surrounding it, then you're culturally illiterate and probably should not watch the rest of this review. Cinematic class is about to begin, and the professor is in. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Fiore, and I've just returned from the press screening of Murder on the Orient. You know, I, actually, that's not true. The, the screening was last night. This is the morning after. After the screening was over, guess who showed up? Yep, Johnny Depp showed up and insisted we go out for a few drinks. Well, I thought, since the red carpet event was already over, that it would be safe. But i got to tell you, I'm paying the price this morning for, for all that celebrating. Murder on the Orient Express is difficult to remake, reboot, to do over again, simply because it's probably one of the most old well-known murder mysteries. Everybody knows the story and everybody already knows the culprit. So how do you go about trying to change this thing up so that it appeals to, you know, I mean, a murder mystery, once you know who the killer is, is kind of lame. Well, Kenneth Branagh helms this. He's a pretty good filmmaker. And I got to tell you that the director of cinematography just blew my mind on this thing. There are scenes where this looks like it came right out of Disney's Polar Express. That's how animated the scenes are. Part of the reason is because they shot this film, odd film, 65 millimeter instead of the usual 33 or 35 millimeter. And uh, boy, the difference is, is really, I, this movie looks good. They also kind of changed some things around on it. Uh, the script written by uh, Michael Green from Agatha Christie's novel changes some of the characters and changes some of the settings so that they're able to put in some political commentary, including commentary on war and race relationships. And they throw in some politics, which was never in the original story. And then they got to throw in a few slams that are anti-American. And it's, you know, it's useless. Other than the Hollywood shine and feeling the Hollywood agenda, they play nothing into the story and they add nothing to the original story. So some of these things work. Shooting on film, 65 millimeter, that certainly worked. But uh, tinkering with the script like this, just so that you can put in some commentaries and make some political statements, certainly doesn't work. Most of you will probably remember Murder on the Orient Express with Albert Finney in the title role and Sean Connery was in it. Uh, I think when you compare the two movies side by side, that one will hold up a little bit better. There's an all-star cast in this, but they just don't seem to have the gravitas that the one that was made back in the 70s uh, does. So, if you've never seen a version of Murder on the Orient Express... You may want to check out the one in the 70s first. And then after you've done that, you might want to see how Kenneth Branagh changed this around. Some changes work for the good. Technical changes, the cinematography, for example, but uh, and the snowfall. That was pretty cool. But the, uh, uh, the changes in the script to, to try to fill a political agenda just, just plain didn't work for me. So, now that you have learned what you have learned, you should hold and make sure that you can see behind-the-scenes footage for Murder on the Orient Express and comments from the stars on the official Outtakes with Fiore TV program Mondays at 7, Thursdays at 9, and Saturdays at 2. Don't you dare miss an episode. Now, here ended your lesson.